Hey, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan. So I'm sure most of you guys who follow our content here regularly know that meat eaters just love to say things about us that are false, attacking us, all sorts of stuff like that. But I'm sure a lot of you guys don't know that vegans often say false and mean things about us too. And maybe they mean well. Well, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about here. Recently, I made a YouTube short from the longer form video I made about Peter Dinklage no longer being vegan or vegetarian. And I got some vegans, a few names I even recognized, I think, saying some things about me that I just thought were way off point, such as Marianne writing here, I don't like when people judge vegans, and I don't like judging others who aren't vegan. So thanks, Marianne, for leaving that comment on our Facebook shorts, and I agree with you 100%, actually. I'm not disputing what you're saying whatsoever. Please, vegans, in our outreach towards others, if you really want to truly to get people to become vegan, that should be your goal. Don't be selfish. It's not about our egos. It's about getting people to become interested interested in veganism and the way to do that is to have people leave their conversations with you or their interactions with you with a positive message rather than feel like they are being attacked and being judged. Therefore, when I make my response videos here on YouTube to people saying why they're no longer vegan, I'm not attacking them personally. I'm not being some kind of judgmental a-hole vegan or anything like that. I'm looking at what they said as far as why they can't be vegan and processing that through the lens of critical thinking and objective evidence evidence-based information and see where it stands but I don't understand why some people perceive that as being like attacking or judgmental and yet we got this other comment from William York also on Facebook he says as a vegan I find that calling out people on their food choices is not the world I wish to live in but it gets worse he says my continued bashing like I've been doing this for a long time con continued bashing of others for their apostate status does not serve the vegan community but rather furthers the stigma that vegans are a-holes once again William thanks for your point of view there but I have to strongly disagree with you because that's the furthest thing that we do on our show here is bashing and let's make sure we all know what bashing means here it's not to physically strike someone I can't do that but it's to verbally attack people and once again that's the furthest thing that we do here in happy healthy vegan remember I'm philosophy trained I'm a philosophy grad school dropout they don't teach us there to do personal attacks in fact that's frowned upon. There's a fallacy name for that. The ad hominem fallacy is when you attack a, a person's character, appearance, so anything other than their argument. That's what I'm looking. All I'm looking at is what they said. Their argument, the facts or supposed facts that they said, and again, analyzing them through the a lens of critical thinking and objective evidence. But anyway, let me play this YouTube slash Facebook short that these people are commenting on, and we'll see if there's any evidence of me bashing someone, attacking someone, being an a-hole, being judgmental. You decide. Let's watch it all together. It's really short. You don't eat meat. I think I've been to four. I, I don't. I eat do now. You know why? Because of Thrones. I started eating fish and chicken again on oh, that what? show. Because, why? Because the vegetarian in Croatia... Yeah, it's fish. impossible. Fit, yeah. Well, I've never been to Croatia, so I can't tell you firsthand if it's impossible to be vegetarian or vegan in Croatia. I highly doubt it. In fact, we could look up restaurants in the city that Game of Thrones filmed most in. And Happy Cow, as of today, returned 90 results for restaurants that have vegan, vegetarian, or veg options in that city in Croatia. And one of them is even completely fully vegan. And from what I can gather here, it must be quite popular because it has 472 reviews. And in addition to this fully vegan restaurant, there are two fully vegetarian restaurants in the city as well. So as we see, it's far from impossible to be vegetarian or even vegan in this Croatian city that Game of Thrones did so much filming in. So if you're watching this far, please comment down below. Let me know if this was bashing, which means to verbally attack someone. Remember what I just did there. I just listened to what he said about how he couldn't be vegan or vegetarian even in Croatia. And I was highly skeptical and I found some evidence to suggest that what he's saying that's impossible to be vegan in Croatia is highly doubtable. If that's construed as a, an attack to question what someone said, I guess we have a different understanding about how things work. And let me know if I was being an a-hole down there, too. And I'm not dumb, by the way. I just want to get some feedback. And also let me know if I was being judgmental, too. But let's move on to why I'm even responding about Peter Dinklage in the first place. is because he has a history of being an advocate for the rights of animals. Look at some of these ads he did for PETA back when Gains of Throne was being filmed and aired. Hi, I'm Peter Dinklage with PETA. I like animals, all animals. Oops. I wouldn't hurt a cat or a dog or a chicken or a cow. And I wouldn't ask someone else to hurt them for me. 
That's why I'm a vegetarian. So it's comments like these, you know, being a spokesperson for PETA, speaking about the rights of animals who are being cruelly exploited and killed needlessly so people can eat their meat for absolutely no reason. This is why I think it's justifiable for people like me, a vegan philosopher, to respond to Peter's why I'm no longer vegan comments. Because if you break it down, there's two arguments he had. The first one was his that it's impossible. It's not even an argument. His assertion that it was impossible for him to eat vegetarian food while in Croatia. And I, like I said, we have a lot of reason to doubt that. In addition to the happy cow stuff that I just showed you, we got plenty of comments from people who have lived or traveled into Croatia and said it's not that hard to get food that doesn't have animal products in it. So for argument's sake, let's take Peter at his word. Let's assume back in 2011 and such when they started filming Game of Thrones, there were no vegetarian options to be found in Croatia and was forced to eat meat. Well, why in the heck is he making videos like this during that time period of Thrones? Hi, I'm Peter Dinklage for PETA. The images that you're about to see might make you want to turn away, but this is what you pay for every time you buy meat, eggs, and dairy products. That's why tens of millions of kind people just in the United States alone have decided to leave animal products off their plates for good. So seeing these advertisements for PETA while also seeing his why I'm no longer vegan because during Game of Thrones filming I had to eat meat makes you wonder about this timeline. Like was he actually eating meat while at the same time making these ads for PETA? Or is this article on Looper telling the truth, saying that during his scenes on Thrones where he appears to be eating meat, he's actually eating substitutes like tofu? But it just makes you wonder. I mean, it's hard to have those two stories be consistent. But let's move on from there because there's a deeper issue at heart here. Let's just say he were, was indeed forced to you know, eat meat in Croatia. I don't think he had to, but let's just give him the argument, like I said, that he had to do that. Well, last time I checked, I thought Games of Thrones ended like 2018 2019 so he's had what six years since that time he's been back in the united states where he doesn't have the but croatia doesn't have plants excuse anymore so if he really truly had those concerns about animal cruelty and exploitation that he voiced so eloquently for PETA, i like animals all animals Oops. i wouldn't hurt a cat or a dog or a chicken or a cow and I wouldn't ask someone else to hurt them for me. That's why I'm a vegetarian. So if he's truly sincere about what he's saying there, and he had to violate his moral principles in order to not die in Croatia, there's absolutely no reason why upon returning to the United States in 2018 or 19 on a permanent basis, why he couldn't go back to being vegan again. But you don't eat, you don't eat meat. I think I've been to four. I, I don't, I you do now. You know why? Because of thrones. And this is precisely why I'm making these response videos about Peter. Notice how I'm not attacking him, I'm not bashing him, I'm not calling him a bad person, I'm not saying you should stop being a fan of his or anything like that. I'm just looking at what he said and just really calling into question the completeness or full truthfulness of what he's saying here. I think there's other reasons that he's not properly fully sharing with us as to why he's eating meat again, but I think it has nothing to do with Game of Thrones not being able to fulfill his technical food writers. Again, I've questioned that in my past video. I know as a low-level musician that you can present food writers to producers and they honor them. And I know from actors who are more successful than I am in music and others who work in the film and TV business who say they always can get the food that they need to eat no matter what. And once again, once back home, there's no reason why he couldn't return back to his no meat lifestyle. So, well, on one hand, I appreciate feedback from people like William saying that I'm continually bashing people and making vegans look like assholes. I'm going to have to respectfully disagree with you there, William. I know there's plenty of other vegan YouTubers and others on social media who fit that bill precisely. I'm not going to give them any mention here. I don't want to promote them or anything like that, but that's far from what we do here. And I'm sorry that you somehow have confused what we're doing here, the respectful response videos that we make with these other hardcore vegans that just bash people and be glad about their bashing. They think it's awesome to like disrespect people and judge people who aren't vegan. That's totally not what we do here. So anyway, people, please leave your questions and comments and feedback down below about anything that we talked about here. Stuff we talked about me. Am I being a judgmental a-hole vegan? Am I continually bashing people here on YouTube? Or do you think I'm not doing those things? I 
personally think I'm not, but I'd love to hear your feedback. And also leave feedback and comments about Peter Dinklage, the reason why I'm making these videos for it. Do you think his answers make any sense? Here's excuses, his reasons why he can't eat plants anymore. So let me know what you thought down, about that down below. Hit like, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you really think I'm a complete level 5,000 vegan a-hole and I make vegans look bad and I'm bashing people, please come share that with me on my Friday live streams, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, just try to be civil and we could probably have a discussion. So until next time guys, remember, it doesn't suck being vegan.